What's up, everybody? Farley back again, and uh, time for some uh, comic books. Uh, so, before I get started, though, I bought a refurbished laptop, and it worked great for two days. And then went to record today. I actually did some rips this morning. Went back, and I got some uh, blue screen telling me that uh, don't it don't work anymore. And I swear, I think I heard like demonic laughter coming from it. So anyway, I got a get I got a warranty on it for a year, so I sent an email in. So looks like I'm stuck. Uh, I hate making videos on my phone. I hate it. I don't like it at all. So, uh, but it is what it is. So um, it's impossible for me to do the vinyl rips though on the phone, only the laptop. So uh, it won't be rips until I get it figured out. I'm hoping they can just talk to me over the phone, walk me through fixing it, but we'll see. Uh, anyway. All that jabber jabber just to let you know that the uh, video quality sucks uh, because I'm using my phone. All right, let's go. First off, four. All the fans of PlayStation 2. Oh, eight of you. I think it's the greatest system ever, man. But uh, anyway, picked up MLB 06, the show. Great, great game. Uh, play, started playing it today. I think the discs. Yeah, the discs in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was glad to pick that up. For guess how much? $2. Wow. I'm actually going to play this when I get done here a little bit. Alright, that's all. I just wanted to show that. And that's for Groovy Movie, too. I wanted to say that. So, Groovy always shows some games and stuff. So, Groovy's for you, man. Alrighty then. Let's get on to some comics. So, these are going to be a few runs, uh, story arcs, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, a couple of newer comics. But mostly like runs and gap fillers. You know, everybody's got that hole in their collection they like to fill. <laughs> like I said that, and in my mind, it, it went there. So, anyway, everybody's got some gaps they want to fill in their comic book collection. As in, and also music. If you're uh, somebody from the music community, the vinyl community, whatever, watching this, you know what I mean, too. You know, you, 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 you have these bands and you got to get everything. And for me, that's live albums, EPs, singles. Oh, sucks liking a band. All right, but we're talking about comics right now, so let's get back. These are under the Marvel uh, Marvel Knights imprint. And this is stuff, 2004, I think. This is the prequel to the movie that came out. Uh, I don't know when. But anyway, this is just a three-parter that came out before the movie in 2004, 2005, whenever it came out. And... Uh, and I don't know the artist or the writer, but it's uh, Hans Rodionoff and Kyle Hotz, or Hotz, I'm not really sure, H-O-T-Z. But really cool covers on these, man. So I'm not familiar with his artwork, but I really dig it. So, like I said, this is a three-part prequel to whatever the movie was. I've not seen that, that particular movie. I didn't even know it existed until I got the comics. So now i got to check that out. Uh, there's two. That's just great. I love the colors on that one, too. And finally, look at this. Look at, that. look at that. That's a cool cover, man. So, I'd like to say, uh, three part series came out in 2004. If you like Man Thing, you've never seen this, check it out. I hadn't read it yet, but I can tell you, I'm going to like it because the covers are cool. That's what I tell myself. If I spend a lot of money, well, I didn't spend a lot on those. Those are a dollar each. But if I ever buy a comic just for the cover and the story sucks, I tell myself, nah, the story was good. Uh, these are the uh, Dark Knights that's going on. Is it still going on or is it ended? Let me know. I'm, I'm behind on it. But I just got number two. Uh, this is the, uh, the variant uh, Stanley Lau. Uh, but Scott Snyder's writing this. So, oh, I love Scott Snyder. And uh, it, Capullo's doing the inside art along with a guy named uh, Glopion. Glopion? I don't know. Comic book artists, man. A lot of them have weird names that I can't pronounce. And they're not weird in their home countries. But they're weird here in the South. So, that's 2D. And where's the other one? Out of order. And here's the uh, other one. This is the uh, 2B variant cover. And uh, that's uh, David Finch. Great covers on both of those, man. Really, really like those. Um, Aliens. This is uh, a four-part series that came out. 89. I write notes in the back of my comics now. Not only so I can do these videos and know something about them, 
But if I ever want to sell them, you know, I can tell people about them a little bit better. Four part series out of Dark Horse from uh, 89. This actually picks up where uh, Aliens ended. The, the second one. Aliens the first one, right? And then Aliens, I think. But uh, anyway, look at these cool covers. This actually won the uh, Eagle Award for Best Comic Book Cover in uh, 1990. And that's uh, Dan Bouvet. I hope I'm saying that right. Canadian guy. French-Canadian sounds like. Great covers on all these. He does all these. These are just fantastic. It's hard for me to tell what you can see on here, too. Like, it's hard for me to tell the glare and what you can see. So I'm hoping you're seeing these. Because these are cool covers, man. And this one. Look at this. Oh, alien goes to hell. And I'm in hell. Alright. Uh, this is a gap filler. In the comic sense. Uh... I don't have these, and I really like Ghost Rider. So you stick him with the Punisher, you got a winning combination. Uh, I forget when these were. These are late 80s, right? I think. Yeah, it'd be like 89, 90, somewhere in the neighborhood. Uh, Mike Barron did the stories on these, and Mark Texero did the art. He did a lot of these Punishers and stuff back then. Ghost. I think he did a lot of Ghost Rider, too, didn't he? So this is a little two-part. It's uh, Punisher War Journal 29 and 30. And finally, yeah, my video tends to cut off on my phone for some reason, so I don't know how long I got. Basket full of heads. Uh, I left off at three before the big COVID ep epidemic, and then I'm picking it up at four, and that's 4A. I don't know how many of these are. I think it's over, but I'm not 100%. I'm not somebody that like, goes on and just reads about the comic book industry, like what comics are still going on and what's over. I just go and try to buy them, and then if they're, out, if they're done, they're done. But uh, look at that cover. This is a great story, man. Joe Hill. Oh, that way. Stephen King's kid. His real name is not Joe Hill. Uh, but anyway. And the cover on this is Rico Murakami. Mira, Rico, Rico Murakami. Not Yurakami. It's Murakami. Cool cat. Not sure where he's from. Sounds Japanese or uh, Korean. Not sure. I feel bad because I don't know that kind of stuff. But uh, I try. Alright, that's it on the comic books. I got some stuff coming in the mail, so I'll have another one soon. And, uh, yeah, man, let me know what you think about these. I hope everybody's doing well. And, uh, oh, my dogs won this weekend. My Bulldogs. So if you follow college football, go dogs. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Let me know what you think. If you got these, what did you think? Uh, if you got any questions or whatever, let me know. Take care, everybody. Follow out.